Good and Morgan from the US of A. We have finally touched down. The warm weather is bliss and we are here to live the American dream. Yes. Listen to her purr. I do think it's important to adapt to the culture when you go to a country. So when you come to America, you have to have a big Jeep. When you go to Asia, you have to eat rice. And when you go to Australia, you have to put shrimp on the barbie. All right, so we have just arrived at Sean Silvera's house. He's not actually here, but he's been very kind in allowing us to use his Centurion. So um, we're gonna go out, get ready, and go for the first whiteboard of the year. This is the coolest petrol pump ever. <laughs> I hope you're better at backing up a trailer. <laughs> that is what you call living the American dream. All right, so we're currently at Sean Silvera's house. If you don't know who he is, well, this is who he is. But unfortunately, he's just gone to California for a surf comp. However, he has been very kind to let us borrow his boat. So we're gonna go out for a little bit of a shred here. It's a Centurion Ori 230, which is genuinely my favorite boat in the whole world. So we're gonna go for a little bit of a shred. It's gonna be very rusty. It's been a good few months since I've been on a whiteboard. We'll do our best. All right, so what we're doing right now is filling the ram. So in this Ori 230, you basically, a door opens underneath the boat. It fills up the ballast tank when you drive about 15 miles per hour or even slower than that. Um, and it takes about 15 seconds, and then the wake is gigantic. All right, so water is 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 25 Celsius, which is a solid 20 over. It's life so much easier, that's just the truth. You have to work less hard. All right, day one, set one. When it's rusty, as a piece of metal that hasn't been galvanized. Um, really fun though, the wake. We didn't even fill this up the whole way, we just kind of put enough in it so that I didn't break myself. I was pretty successful. Got a lot of content for what we're working on. So uh, overall, a big success. But now Louis gonna go wakeboarding. And Louis only ever wakeboarded on a tiny wake. Uh, so we are gonna empty all the ballast because I think otherwise we would literally kill him. Go for it, Louis. is just, you actually just can't beat it. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to Gallo who took us out on the boat, also obviously to Sean Silvera, um, and probably most importantly to Shell from Centurion because she's the magic behind making this happen and the rest of our trip in terms of going, riding with some Centurion athletes, getting out behind the boats, getting to enjoy the big wakes and film this project. Um, but now we're just gonna give the guys a hand to taking this boat out and then continue on living the American dream. Show me to drive it up. <laughs> <laughs> 